Right, time stamps. That's the way to be sure. So for the higher level quest books that exist, you need to pay an entrance fee in order to head in. The prizes are appropriately higher, but you need to go big or go home. Or book at a loss. All the reward categories are still the same, so it works out pretty well. Let's see what we got here. Valkyrie with an Earth Spear. Reese Boots. Cow the Birdman for the Flame Flail. Hawkman Jared with the candy shield. Bink the Archer. Who has one of the four enchanted hunting wares. Now those don't drop as loot during quests, so this is not a way that we could get those. And Marty the Wizard. Let's try to win ourselves some treasure. Let's get a little opening shot in. Bulk of our damage is going to tell him once I, of course, fluid charge our summoner and release the wolves. That's the other great thing about fluid magic, it's the amount that it gives the target is much larger than how much the caster has. It just kind of ignores how much is currently in the caster's reserves. It gives it all.
again, quest mode, no risks of loss of characters, so no reason not to go all in with damage powered moves. Also, Ivana has just become really tough at this point, so yeah. Take risks. Get paid. The brush. And everybody but Marty is also fire aligned, so Eleanor is going to do work. The map is very similarly shaped to the volcano at Gracula, but it is slightly different. Still the same general idea of a magma flow from one corner to the other, but like Gracula had more starting land over here and so forth. Sadly, without hovering, we don't have a way to get characters just over the magma. Gotta stop on land. That was less than perfect. Yeah, I can drop a whole fan river into you. Let's go. Dead wrecked. That wizard isn't dangerous, but he could waste enough time to endanger Marbid of ten of nine turns. Nine turns. Less than ten. Nine. Yeah, being lit on fire will usually wake one up. Should hook Eleanor up with some kind of mobility enhancement. We'll encounter a few others. Potentially win one from this quest. We can get her out of trudging. Greatly improve our ability to drop wolves on things.
I'm just gonna stress how much of a champ Ivana is at this point, as far as uh, defenses go. Look at that, I have not... I have not healed her this entire fight. She has been constantly on the front lines, and... She's been willingly burning off her own health to hit the enemy harder. Easily done. The Hammer of Tears. Well... And a nice Fire Spear, hmm. But a couple runs of that off-camera will probably get us appropriate element uh, spears to throw on Valkyrie. I don't have anyone who's specializing in flails right now. Birdmen are the main users of flails, hammers, and so forth. We never bothered to recruit one. I might consider bringing one on board. Anyway, here we are at the start of Act 3, wherein previously we uh, fought our way over the borders of Renaculus, stormed the capital, defeated Nerys Patrol, install, uh, uh, I suppose installing Ivana as the new Duchess of Renaculus, that's something that doesn't really get a lot of focus or screen time, but yeah, we, we did that. We met up with Richter, found out that as a child he found a fragment of the Sacred Spear, which then caused him to be haunted by the what appeared to be the ghost of his dead fiance, but was actually an illusion being created by a sleeping angel who was imprisoned at the top of the highest mountain on this island in a cage of ice and has been there since the dawn of time and now yearns to be free. So let's go murder it eventually. We're gonna get her that. Welcome to Ogre Battle. But yeah, importantly, we've, uh, we got Rick down here. <laughs> High Priest, he uses holy spells and came with the holy summon. He is a, he's a fight priest. He's, you know, a hybrid caster and fightman. Came along with some handy equipment. I am considering kidding him out with the uh, with the Saints equipment if we're able to find the full set of that. At this point, I think we have the armor. Yeah, we have that Saints garb that he has on. There's also a different set of here. We have a shield. That's what it is. We have a holy shield tucked away in here somewhere. There you go. One of the four divine armaments. If I can find the rest of those, I'm thinking I'm going to load Richter out with them. 
We also picked up this very important item. Someone will be making great use of that in time. Hey, person, are you qualified to you know, work for a living yet? You could become a swordmaster, which is nice. That is not my career goal for you, person. Might make a decent in between, but uh. Got his pen and sword. Waiting on the stats for warlock compatibility. Yeah, I'll make him a sword master for now. Work on them physicals. Gotta be close. I don't have any anybody to serve as a baseline for what should be good swordsman, good warlock, stabbing wizard. Hmm. We're going to stop using fluid magic because you have much better use throwing your own spells. You have important things that other people should be charging up for you. So yeah, first in, you get our other fluid magic. If I dose first and with a couple of Sorcerer Cups, you should be much closer to Qualified. Oh yeah, we also got this and this and that. All kinds of really interesting equipment got picked up. During the big fight. So hi. I, I didn't uh, want to jump in the call yet because I'm gonna have to leave soon and I won't be back for like half an hour. But person, uh, he needs MP. No, uh, his strength and intelligence are both fine. So he might actually have to spend time as a wizard if you wanted to get warlock fast. If he chugs a bunch of wizard brew, he will be up to speed. I didn't know how many of those we had, but uh, yeah, if that is so. Their flavored wand. Not really, but I don't think Deneb really uses raw magic power for much, doing utility spells, so here. Just have a fan. Yeah, if anything, agility is the more important stat, I think, if it affects spell accuracy as well. There, now she is one step closer to being the ultimate weapon. Who is for sale in the recruitment? Also, what new items are available? Come on. Just entered a new act. I Claymores and Tritons now. You can buy a full plate. That's really expensive, though. No shoes! Give you ice movement. Armlets. Definitely restock some solve. These are amazingly valuable in emergencies. To have each level. Yeah, valuable and kind of terrifying if the enemy ever gets access to them. Holy crap. Five is enough spare altars. Five is a lot of altars. Yep. Especially when the use we have for altars is in case our resurrection priest dies. That's our core use for altars. Well, you don't Books. always bring the resurrection priest. Book selection is mostly the same as it was before. Yeah, there's Purifying. just spells in here that you have been available and you never picked up. 
That's another status clearing spell, but for uh, utility casters instead of uh, bullies. Pick up something to pad out Richter's inventory. Light bow, regular heal, and the full fire would be good stuff. Tranquilize, set to neutral morale. That could have use. Seems really situational though. Grab a copy of full heal. Yeah, tranquilize. I mean, mostly, I guess it would Hello, be. Hello, most fun. dangerous thing I could give my ghosts. Congratulations, Great. ghosts. Your new job is to be anti wizards. Load these hats so I can buy more mind taking. Now, both of our ghosts will be equipped. Shut down summoners. Yeah, you can't buy in people. That's really weird. Wait, can ghosts themselves equip cursed existence? Ooh. It may be time for teamwork. Another upside of uh, quest grinding is that any item it gives you that you don't want just means that you got yet more cash prize. Not gonna liquidate any of those yet, but uh. Right. The reason I first walked in here was to check what custom folks they have for sale. Alright, fairies. Yeah. The inhuman recruit that's available will vary by city and by, I think, just RNG table. But it's like not ruled constantly. Ah, oh, yes, three spell slots. Let's see. I was gonna ask if it was like by month or something, but there does not appear to be a calendar. There, recursion achieved. Oh, excellent. Uh, it, it is time. Uh, ghost the team, you're too annoy. I'll keep the enfeeble around. Or wait, scrap the nightmare, yeah. Well, you don't have a second Enfeeble, so there's nothing to replace the Nightmare with, is there? Scrap the Nightmare anyway, just symbolically. Not a good spell. Wait, do ghosts have a favorite weapon? They don't. I'll give you guys my maces. Since you're elementally neutral, you don't care what flavor these things are. You're just, you're just death element. Yeah, it's a shame there aren't more death element weapons. shield over here is when I need to stick to one-handed weapons. Eventually, once I find the last candy item, that'll be yours. Yeah, yeah, that stick will do fine for now. Hit on to... I'm gonna do a quick sweep of the other areas just in case there's, uh... Fun and friendly random encounters, or non-random, but you know, unlabeled encounters, because you got two locations up here in red. Yeah, unlabeled sometimes. Which is the progress and which is side? I don't know what that, like, print, the pin, pin in the map means. The pin indicates that this is the one to advance the plot over in Harmonia, but red 
It's also plot, but then sometimes there's invisible plot. Encounter. Alright, what do we got? Ice dragons. Portem the Birdman. Ion and a Guptos. A Guptos. Tamarith. <laughs> uh, actually. Neutral, lawful. I don't have a lawful dragon yet. Pontus, how would you like a job? Also, this. This giant. I haven't seen giants before. They crush. Powerful, but not accurate. And that's all that's here. Yeah, just a fight everybody kind of map. First of all... Listen. Second of all, Marwalls. Because if Ribs was able to evolve, then Marwalls should also be able to evolve at their next level. Should be overqualified. And only in regular dragon form, because they were just put there at that level. Probably means the dragon will recruit here also will evolve at one level. Then Fursin, because Fursin has learning to do. Not equip Rick with the other spell I bought him. And yes, Rick can also be rigged up as an exorcist if necessary. Good stuff. He's pretty much catch all white magic. Huh. May as well send ribs out since they could use them. Then, uh. Each of these is worth five mana, so... Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, it's 78 that you need, so... Congratulations, one more of those person. and two levels. Or two more of those and one level. And it'll be good, I think. Ninjas and Swordmasters get the same amount of MP. Three. All my non-special move folk are getting weighed down by the snow. This is why we have snow boots. Or, well, why that shop was selling them. Because now... Why snow they movement. exist! Snow movement has become relevant. Snow can also be removed by burning it down. The only source of fire damage right now is, uh, is Marwalls. Yeah, it's a shame we don't have a fire wizard. Clear your driveway with dragon breath. Actually, we do, if we give Salamander to Deneb. Although, do summons just do also, that? Also, Euphrae. You could give her Firestorm. Euphrae. Oh, yeah. Wait, what does she have anyway, other than Salamander? I think I gave her just a fireball as a backup attack right now. Yeah, she could probably do with the Firestorm instead. Especially now that other people can be the mana economy.
Deal it there, person. That's my only other sorcerer cup, but uh, we'll work with that. I'll stay in the call so it doesn't close down, but I'll be back in a bit. Alright, later. Power and the glory of the Holy Squirrel. Why are you hanging out back there, Tammy? Why so shy? Come on up and fight with all the other monsters. This is a great opportunity for summon damage, but I think I'm going to tr start trying to persuade Patonus here. Any day now.
Yeah, the odds are low enough that I'll leave him out of the summon. Go ahead and concentrate fire on the other targets. A bunch of unpleasantness came down on this crew, but uh, that's what Heal Plus is for. There it is. Pertra, the evolved Chaos Dragon. Chains its element breath and picks up a fear aura. Beware. The idea with Divine Radiance is that it will reduce a target to critical health. Always proportionately drop them by some percentage. Some very large, aggressive percentage, but a percentage nonetheless. I can secure the bag.
while Furson is a per perfectly fine offensive character right now. I would rather feed more experience to my dragons than it. The evolutions are based purely on alignment, so you can combine any element with any alignment type. There's also a way to cycle a dragon through all the possible different forms. It involves a bit of shenanigans, though. It's not as simple as just taking an evolved dragon and rubbing an urn on their face. I wonder if I can get him to level up and mutate within the span of this fight. Have Patonus immediately evolve.
Yeah, actually, no one else needs to do anything this round. They're just waiting. 